location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Our unit is a uniform patrol unit that engages in strict zero tolerance with known and identified gang members and their associates. We also are responsible for handling all gang related uh, criminal incidents such as gang shootings, uh, acts of gang warfare and intimidation street terrorism and uh, to develop intelligence on the gang members and develop files as to who's in the sets, what sets they're rolling with, and the criminal conduct that those sets uh, engage in primarily. Uh, I got 34 in service. Yeah, I got 34. Okay, Tech 18, standby, 2212. Fight in the bar, apparently. 2235. in the back? Um, he might still be out in the back. Watch your shot. There he goes. I don't have a radio, Dan. But get out! Attack 1-8, oh, emergency. Attack 1-8, foot chase. 1600 block Clarkson, going east. Now northbound, 1600 block alley, Clarkson Emerson. No. I didn't think so. <laughs> Roll over on your face. Put your hands out to your side. Negative, we got a bad guy. Okay, Good. You take a spill? No, I went that way. Oh. You lose. Hey, guns. Bazookas. Stand up. I give me no trouble, man. Yeah, you did. You ran. Oh, oh hell yeah. What would you do? I'd stand up and be like a man. Yeah. You know, I'm glad you said to call it on the radio. I was just into the chase, man. I was having a good time. Yeah. Here, I got this Kay. one. Yeah, I remember you. You can do that now. You can do that now. I remember you. You remember me. Yo, you want to play games? Yeah. Man, we, we we'll play see games that. with the best ones. We'll see that. Why ain't you down Colfax? Busting them rock kids. Here you go. Get the car. Okay, Quit. 
You gonna hobble? Oh, no. Negative. It's like manacles. Yeah, you bet this is right. Watch him. Don't be kicking. This is right. Oh, watch it. I'm sorry, bro. You okay? Huh? Yeah, you bet this is right. Hey, bro. Babe, bum me out. Okay? He won't fit around there. Bum me out. Bring him up. I'm gonna hook it right here in his belt. Okay. Got a foot out. Hello. I got him. Who did he slap? Who did he slap? He's slapping. Look at her eyes. They want her to go to the hospital. That's pretty down there. Look at her eyes. 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 Come on, there with me. Oh, he popped you good. With the fist or a bottle or anything? Yeah, this fist. Okay, what, what happened? I told him to get out and he pushed me and I pushed him back and then he smacked me. Okay, it's a white guy? Yeah. Kind of buff with a lot of tattoos yeah. and a black shirt? All over his body. A well, bad boy shirt. Well, he met the baddest boy of them all. I know, and he I lost. saw you come in and I knew he was going to lose. He bit you? I'm glad you came out, homie. We're gonna have to take well, care, care of some paper here. For disturbing the peace or nothing, but I seen her get hit. No, I mean, I seen her get hit, and I just couldn't stand by and watch her jump on her again. His girlfriend went out the back door, and he was he was telling this other girl that he was gonna beat her ass. So I told him, I said, you can leave too. And he pushed me, and I pushed him back, and that's when he slugged me. And then Pat jumped. He beat, he beat on Pat pretty good too. And then he got a hold of me in a headlock, and then he bit me. And he wouldn't let go, and I kept on hitting him while he was biting me. And then everybody pulled us apart. Surprised I didn't lose any skin. You know, if it wasn't for stand-up guys like you, we'd have a problem. No, you didn't. You're, it's great. But I want you to get that face checked out, because, yeah. I mean, don't blow it off. I mean, go to a real doctor, not tomorrow, tonight. Because yeah, I had a buddy punch the guy in the mouth on an arrest one night. His hand got infected. They damn near had to amputate his hand two days later. It's nothing dirtier oh, yeah. than the human well, mouth. If you don't do that, you'll get infected and your cheek will all blow up. And all right, yeah. All right, listen, you're being charged with felony second degree assault. You're also being charged with resisting arrest. Yep. I can't be. Oh, bro. You can charge me what you want, what you want, bitch. I'm gonna fall on you, ass. <laughs> I'm falling on you. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So broke, they got arrested me for turning the lane. Just like it's a body. I ain't doing nothing, man. Then you're not going to, are you? Are you a journalist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colorado so broke, they gotta arrest people for turning the wrong lane so they got some money to pay their bills. Have a nice night. Yeah. <laughs> You don't strike police officers. I Do you understand me? You, bitch. Do you want additional charges, huh? No. Then you're done for the night. This guy's this guy's situation, you know, he's drunk, he's belligerent, he beat up a 110-pound female bartender and knocked her pretty good. Then he turns around, and beats up a guy who really is a stand-up guy. He comes to her aid. You know, that, I, I tell you, if our city had more Ernest Ortiz's, it'd be a lot better city. We wouldn't have to imagine a great city, we'd have one. But uh then we take him down. He knows he screwed up. And at first, he's all apologetic. He's saying, yeah, you know, I'm really sorry, officer. I was stupid. I shouldn't have done it. I was just drinking too much. After a while, that alcohol starts affecting him, and they start getting spunky again. By the end of the deal, he just can't let it lie without taking one final poke at the cops. And he took a swing at me, and you know, the bottom line is, I've lifted weights my entire life since I was eight years old. And this is one profession where that really pays off. Uh, we're going to a disturbance in the apartment. Apparently, the roommate is destroying the apartment. And he's throwing everything around and breaking everything. 4431, at District 4, would you pick up Seawald and Bedard, take them to their post? 
What's Close going on? Phone. This is Gary Reichel. I'm being phone? ripped off blind, and I'm letting it happen. I'm not the, I've caused the problem, but I'm not the problem. I'm not the one doing it. I own all this. I got a so telephone call. Understand. My sister-in-law called. I have three grandkids here. Nuts. OK? So the kids aren't here right now? No, they're gone. That's why That's why I got called and came down. Don't get upset. I just want to know how okay. you found out. Well, just a minute. I have three grandkids here, and they have a, a babysitter right. staying with them over the weekend. OK. OK, their mother called her. And didn't get an answer, and he answered the phone. Oh, wow. I live right up here in the, in the middle he of the house. He answered the phone inside the house? Yeah, he answered the phone inside the house. And so yes. my wife says, and he was here earlier today doing this, and he's always doing this. Wait a minute. How come you're in the house? How come you're you, in the house? You live here? With? I own this house. Man. Huh? I own that, the house. You rent the house. Is you, have you have the house rented? Yes, I do. Is it rented to somebody? Yes. Is it under a contract? Well, we don't have a written contract. But you did rent it? Yes. And they're paying to you, and you're giving them receipts, right? Oh, yes. You do we or had you a, don't? We had a verbal agreement that I could come you in the house. Whoa. You do or you don't? I don't give them receipts, no. They, you they, don't give them receipts, neither? No, it's an honest thing. She's like my sister. We're real close. Oh, you can't come in the house as long as you're renting. That's her castle right there once you rent it. OK, we That's had a verbal agreement. It doesn't have anything to do with it. You do not reside here. You don't live here. OK, that's fine. You don't fine. have any rights as long as you're renting it. That's fine. Now, right now, you criminally trespass. Yeah, you're trespassing. The garage is not rented. You answered the phone in the house twice today. Yeah. You well, shouldn't that, be inside that's fine. the house. I did. OK, to start out with. I'll Second, admit that. the garage. That's your garage. I don't care what you do with it. 13. But you're not to go in the house. Okay, as long as you're renting. Yeah, we're that's fine, fine here. Understand that? Okay, 2024. That's fine. I won't go in the house. So you know what's missing? Uh, a lot. Like what? Uh, see, the problem is, the belongings was my dad's. So I don't know what the f I have and what I don't. But I know when my cupboards are full, that's what we're... And when they empty out. So you don't know what you're missing? Not exactly. He can do whatever he wants. All right, so. it's, it's illegal to possess drugs, but not to use drugs, OK? We know he's high. I've been doing the dope since I was 15 years old. It's going to kill you. And I've never had problems like this before. Because it's catching up with you. Well, since I've met her, I've got all these problems. Because you're doing more. No, I ain't doing I'm actually doing less. Yeah? I kicked. I got rid of everybody I knew because I was so sick of it. Went to the Bahamas, got straight, came back. Back on it. And, you know, they back down again. We, we used to own a house down the corner back in the 70s, you know? Okay. We was here when his mom died. And then his dad passed away. We lived at Nebraska, and we're just in the process of moving in up here. Okay. Well, I understand the kid's problem. He's the only kid, too. I've had that problem all my life. I've gave and gave and gave and been so gullible. Just get, you gotta, you get gotta, walked on, walked on, walked gonna, on. I'm going to tell you something. And I, don't, and I'm I can going predict crazy. your future. You're going to burn this house, you're going to burn I'm the other house. I'm everything. And you're going to put it all up your nose. I've quit no problem. I got together with Yvonne. I quit. I was doing an eight ball a day myself. Eight ball a day, three and a half grams a day myself. That's what I always I got said. together with this girl. She right didn't here. do you it. Said you want I stopped help? immediately. You said you want help. I'll help you. But you have to come up. I can stop. No problem. I can. I mean, I've done it several you times. Gotta commit yourself, man. I was not gonna work. We'll start tomorrow then. And not 30 days either. It's kind of tough today. You gotta, you gotta, this is gonna be a real rehab. You gotta put yourself for a while. You really gotta do it. This 30 days don't work. Yeah. And 60 days is ain't worth That's what everybody wants. I know that. I love myself. That's why That's I don't want why this to happen. We don't want, we don't, we don't want nothing to happen to you. Yeah, you don't mind if I shut off that light on the garage. Yeah, I gotta see if the motor room's locked. Nose candy. Nose candy, is that what it is? Yep. Yeah, I figured that. And he all died for it. And he got, he's got two houses, property, vehicles, motorhome. And he's going to lose all this crap for that. His parents died and left him all this stuff with a half a million dollars. Oh, my God. And he's used it up. God, I 
for half a million dollars, and you play the lottery. And I played the lottery, she fucking retired, man. <laughs> Call of a drive by shooting at 3065. The ambulance just called our dispatcher to let him know that they were going on that shooting that we're going on. So apparently someone got hit. No, all we need is your love. Okay, they're coming out. 34, we're coming to 6. 34 is 6 at 114. 3065, you would. Wow, in these apartments. What happened? I'm on the ride! 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 What's going on? What happened? Let me grab it. Let me grab it. We had a drive-by shooting. We don't know who it was. We don't know why they did it, but they drove by and they shot. Where was he at? In the window. He was in the kitchen, and they Where? drove by and just shot. We don't know where it was. Okay, just relax, okay? Will you okay? take me where he's going, you gotta, please? You can't go with him. Please, right? I need to go. You can't go with him. Now, just relax. You cannot go in there. I'm sorry. Please, I need to go. I need to talk to you. Relax. <laughs> you can't go I with him. I can't Did you see what happened? No. Just relax. You cannot I go, need with to him. go with them. You can't go with them. Can you take me behind no. them? You can't Please. go with them. <laughs> oh, no. What do we got? That's a good drive by shooting. This guy got blasted hard. <laughs> I think we can take care of it ourselves. 1134. Where did that guy go? This is a good drive-by. We need another car. Who was that guy? Oh, my God! Let me take care of him. Yeah, please, you come here. Okay, 35. Hey, come here. 34, we'll get you some information as soon as we can. It's kind of hysterical here right now. So where did he get shot at? In the kitchen. 1133. Were you in the house? We were in the house. Okay. Tell me what happened. Huh? Drive -by shooting. We were in did the you, house. Did you see a car? Nobody saw nothing. 50, 60, we were in the house. Nobody saw nothing. And it was a drive by shooting. Okay, 21. We don't know when he did it or why they did it, but it was a drive by shooting. Why don't you just take a seat right here on the curb and don't move? Okay? Just sit right there. Let me show me where the shooting took place at. Where did he get shot? You know where he got shot? I'll find out for you. What ambulance are you guys? Four. Uh, four. Okay. What did you find in here, Phil? It was your crime scene right there. Apparently, he was standing behind the counter. Got one bullet that entered that window right there. He was standing behind the counter, and that's where he got shot at. That's all we know right now. Everybody that was in the house says they didn't see anything. We don't, we don't have a vehicle description or anything. It looks like there's a bullet hole right here. Yeah, that's what's going to happen now. Well, we got the crime lab coming. We got a couple more cars coming in. We're going to have to search the area, canvas the area, see if anybody can tell us anything at all. Right now, we don't have anything to go on. What yeah, he'll make it. I don't know why it happened. Are you his boy girlfriend? No, that is. Take me to the Can you come here and talk to me for a minute? You're not doing anything by not helping us, okay? What's his full name? Eric Rodney Drew Hill. What's his birthday? August third, seventy-one. Look at this. This is shotgun blast right here. Oh, goodness. Phil. Where did that guy go again? Phil. Where did that guy go? In the white T-shirt. Hold on a second. They opened up on this house wild. Oh, I need a oh, oh. Don't want to 
Leonard took off. We told him to stay in Leonard B. He's free. He's probably free. What's his last name? <laughs> okay. This is Leonard's car? Rita. Yes. Yes, yes please. Listen, I need to go to the hospital. To we'll get down there. There's nothing you can do right now. Okay? I need to know if he needed it or not. Okay, I'll get you down there in a couple minutes. Now listen to me. We have a crime scene here that we have to process. Tell me where he was when he got numbers. hit. Barely to the door. He wasn't even at the door. Inside or outside? Inside. Door? Inside. He didn't even go outside yet. Oh, man. Did I can't. Did you see a car? No. What she's saying that the guy that took off on us is Leonard and his girlfriend is Jackie. That's all they know. We don't know any other names? No. Okay. You guys got a sergeant that's anywhere close, got some crime scene tape. Oh, we got some in this car right here. I just, I just, let's get out. Let's use your tape. What's the number to his mom's house, Rita? Come on, Rita, give it to me. We need to let her know. Come on. Oh, I know, Rita. I know. Mike, you gonna come this way with that? Yeah. What happened? Somebody got shot. How much you got, Mike? You got enough to go around that stop sign? Yeah. There goes our tape. Oh, there's one right there. Look. When we first got there, we thought it was a gang-related shooting. What we later found out is that uh, the victim, his girlfriend, and, and two other friends were at a local bar. Uh, the victim and another person, the, the suspect in this, got in an argument at the bar. Everybody left. The victim, his girlfriend, and the two other people that were with him went to the house. The people that they were arguing with at the bar followed them there and started shooting. It looks like a total of 28 rounds were fired into the house uh, from 9 millimeters, 45s, and uh, 12 gauge slugs. You know, the guy was hit from everything we got. The guy's in critical condition, but he's going to make it. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, we'll still send a code three. 